What is going on traders? Today I'm getting into it. Many of you have asked, so guess what? You ask and you receive. I really didn't think I was going to get into this. I'm going over some things that I've never shared with anybody really, but I do think this is going to inspire many of you to just take the risk and do what you want to do. There's a few things that terrify me in life. You know, I want to preface uh, this video by going over some of those things. Have you ever heard that story of that little kid in class getting asked by the teacher, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, and the kid said, hmm, I want to be happy. And the teacher said, oh, no, no, no. I, I don't think you understand the question. You know, ha haven't your parents told you, you know, I want you to be like a doctor, a lawyer, a fireman, policeman. Uh, you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the kid said, I want to be happy. That's what I wanted. I want to be happy. There's a lot of parents out there that want their kids to go a certain way in life. But why not just want your kid to be happy and it's a misconception among teachers a lot of people out there like you gotta be a doctor you gotta be a lawyer you gotta be a certain thing why can't I just be happy because one thing I found out early in life was most people aren't happy in fact most people enslave themselves to a job that they hate and I've never understood this I mean the a daunting picture was created for me growing up and they said you know what enjoy your younger years while you have them because when you grow up life gets hard and miserable and you hate your job and you're just paying bills but the thing is, these people choose this. I mean, they literally enslave themselves to a house they can't afford, to a car they can't afford, to all these things they can't afford. And I decided I'm not going to borrow money for things I can't afford to enslave myself to a job that I hate. I want to live a life that's well below my means so that these means can last me for the rest of my life. I want to take the road less traveled by, the one that is not borrowing tons of money, the one that's not enslaving themselves to a job. I mean, it's the modern day slavery. And not only was I told this coming up, but also I experienced it because the last time I had a job was probably about five or six years ago. And I was literally cleaning people's crap. You know, that's what I did. I was bussing tables. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Whatever job we're in, we're serving other people. Uh, but the problem was, for one, I was getting paid 20 bucks a day. And the second thing was, I would get cussed out by the leadership there. And when you're getting paid nothing and you're getting abused, it humiliates you. You really feel worthless. How does that motivate you to climb out of that? And so not only were people tell me that when I grow up, life is going to be also, but also I experienced it. And I said, this is this is the start of something great, huh? And I can wholeheartedly tell you right now, I am super happy in life. And I haven't worked for someone in five or six years, and I'm never going to work for somebody again because I am always going to live below my means. If for some reason I start making less money, then guess what? Something's going. I will not be enslaved by a stack of wood that I live in. I will not be enslaved by a car. Nothing will enslave me to a job. So I wanted to preface by saying that just because it doesn't matter what numbers you guys are going to see. It really doesn't matter to me. Of course, I want to see progression. But at the end of the day, freedom is what I live for. And I hustle and am extremely motivated and focused on income streams that are going to be reliable and consistent. And if you don't focus on finding ways to make money when you sleep, you're always going to be working when you're awake. And I'm always thinking of new income streams that I'm going to throw in this basket. And I have two, three, four more planned out over the next couple of years. That is what motivates me. People telling me how awful life is and they hate it, but they enslave themselves and they work jobs they hate. It doesn't make any sense to me. And the fact that most people are deep into debt, I'm not going to borrow money. I borrow money on the house. I'm going to get that paid off. I'm not borrowing money again. I live a pretty simple life and do pretty much the same thing every single day. But I'm always working towards new income streams. So let's get into those real quick. You know, the first one I'll go over is just YouTube. YouTube just started a few months ago. And what you have to do for YouTube, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time uh, to become a partner with them in which you can monetize your videos. It's not something I think you have to even register for. Once you hit those milestones they will automatically you know review your account and then start monetizing your video so here you know some days I'm making uh, 870 on the weekends 450 470 I'm not posting any videos those days this day I made about 10 bucks and to be making what 200 to 300 dollars a month right now of course isn't a lot considering the work but to me this is really fun work I enjoy this a lot and I went to school for filmmaking and editing and all that stuff it, it doesn't take me any time to make these videos it's honestly fun money for me so this just started a few months ago making a few hundred dollars here 
uh, a month on YouTube. There is potential with YouTube to make a lot of money, but it's going to take a lot of work. You know, consistency, you got to have that, uh, as well as good content, as well as just the hard work to be doing it for a long time. Uh, so that's YouTube. The next income stream we'll go to is a business I started about four years ago. See, most people told me, Kevin, you're going to have to find a job. I don't know why, but it's like more reputable to be working for someone than to go your own path and pave your own path and do your own thing. I don't know why that is, but I was pressured by many different people to be working for somebody. That's more reputable than doing all this stuff on your own. Uh, so I started my own business. They said, Kevin, you'll never start your own business. Well, guess what? When they told me not to do something, that's when I do it. So I started a business, Avery Videography. I do weddings and real estate. Uh, was awarded 2017 uh, Couples Choice Award and 2018, and I got 24 reviews, all five out of five stars on the business. With this one, I make anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 or more if they add on more things. Uh, so that's the weddings. You know, I've done as many as like five in a month. I believe that was about a $9,000 a month just on the weddings, and these mostly are on Saturdays, some on Sundays. Uh, so that's on the weekends, and then I also do real estate. So in the area, you know, I've partnered with some local agents where I'll go do a bunch of houses for them. So I will film some houses, do a video, take some pictures, and send that to them. Here's just an example of one of them. And I'll make a few hundred dollars doing that. It's really not hard work at all. It's honestly just fun for me. I actually like doing it. So after a trading day, usually uh, I'll go meet up with the agent at like 11 or 12, do this for an hour and then come back edit it together it gets my mind off of trading especially if it was red day the next income stream i have we'll just go in order since we're doing kind of the videography stuff right now i made a movie because guess what they said kevin you'll never make a movie so guess what i did i made a movie uh directed by kevin avery uh, adopted it's on amazon prime guys they said you'll never make a movie you'll never have the money to do that you'll never find the distribution agreement i'm on amazon prime i made the movie it was a lot of work and I didn't have any money at the time because this is when I was in college. Uh, it does have an actor from that movie, Courageous, if you guys have seen that. It is a Christian film. It took me a long time to do this. I wrote 100 pages. I had to get all the cast together, lock in all my locations. I had to feed everybody. I had to do the audio myself. I edited the whole movie myself. I produced the whole movie myself. It was a ton of work. I mean, a ton of Oh, no one will understand it. Yes, most of the actors are local and they've never acted before. So on the reviews, you'll see a lot of people saying that that are used to, you know, the A-list films. I made this movie for like a couple thousand dollars, honestly. And it's with all the people in my life that I love locally here. I'm super proud of it. And the fact that, Kevin, you'll never make a movie. 1% of people make a movie. And like 1% of people actually make money making a movie. Guess what? I'm making money because I made it for nothing. So yeah, I understand that it's not going to compete with some of these films that have like a hundred million dollar budget <laughs> when I made it for like a thousand or two thousand bucks. I completely understand it. But the thing is, when someone tells me not to do something, I do it. And that took a lot of work. That took a couple years of my life, honestly. I mean, writing that whole book for that movie. The pre-production and post-production work probably took a year and a half. The actual filming of the movie took like a month. That's the easy part about it. It's kind of like trading. Learning how to trade, the pre-production of trading takes the most work. You know, once you figure it out, you figure out yourself. Actually executing the trades is really simple. It's everything else that's hard. It's the same thing with a movie. With the film, I, I do pretty well with that. Uh, just the last 12 weeks, over 2 million minutes streamed on it. And I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm making here. July hasn't come in yet, but June I made about $1,150. $1,150 on the film. So yeah, you guys go watch that and throw down a five-star review. It is a Christian film. I made it with the locals in the area. Uh, it's doing pretty well. Got the distribution deal with Amazon. I don't judge people if they're Christian. If they're not, I was never going to share any of this with anybody. But here it is. That's a revenue stream. Now, there's a couple more revenue streams I'll go over, but contractually, I really can't go over you know, how much I'm making. So I have partnered, of course, with Capital Market Elite Group, CMEG. They're offshore, that offshore broker. I've partnered with them. I've sent a lot of people over there, over 100, actually. Most people are heading over there. Um, I'm super proud of that. I am partnered with the Scanners Intensity uh, Stock Scanners. I'm very, very happy and proud about that as well. I've helped get a lot of people over there. And I can't go over both of those numbers, but I am getting paid 
pretty good from both of those sources, and that's something I'm proud of. I honestly take pride in helping other people out. Yeah, I'm getting paid for it, but I've had offers from some brokers that I declined because I did not believe in it. You know, I take pride in the fact that I can get you guys the best scanner out there, uh, and we can get you at the best price out there, and there's just nothing that competes with it. I take pride in that that I can get paid from that. I take pride that I'm getting paid uh, from CMEG to send you guys over there. Because when I first started trading, I was paying $20 a round trip, and I've talked them down to $2.95 a trade if you guys use my promo code. I take pride in that, that I can make money off of helping you guys out. I make money, you guys save a ton of money, CMEG makes money, we're all happy. I, I take pride in all that, very, very happy with it. There's more income streams that I'm working on right now. I'm writing a book that's gonna help jumpstart people uh, in their trading career, you know, I'm looking into real estate. There's a lot of things uh, I'm looking at right now. But then also day trading. I don't really count day trading though because I haven't been withdrawing any money. But I do want to start withdrawing probably about five hundred to a thousand dollars a month, you know, from CMEG because you get one free withdrawal a month. And I want to start paying myself. Really want to start paying myself. You know, once I'm trust myself, I'm confident there, in which I am. I have been trading consistently, but you know, I just want to start paying myself uh, for trading. I'm not looking to get rich off of one of these revenue streams. I'm looking to just build tons of revenue streams. I think that's about seven right there, including trading. Uh, we'll probably get up to 10 within a year or so. Uh, and if one falls, the next one lifts itself up. So I try to focus my time and energy on smart money, not just working hard. Yes, I do work very hard, but I also want to work smart as well. And like I said, guys, whether I make $5,000 a month or $15,000 a month, I'm going to live well below my means. It really doesn't change my life at all because I am so motivated just to be happy and not have to go get a job and be enslaved to a bunch of stuff. But I've been asked to do a video on this many times, so I really wanted to you know, go over this for you guys. It might inspire you. you know, that's what I'm excited about, inspire some of you to live a life that is happy. So the biggest motivators in my life are being happy, having the freedom, you know, supporting my family, uh, helping you guys out. Probably those four things, you know, I love them. That's going to wrap up the video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, traders. We will see you all first thing tomorrow.